Hi, I'm Colin, and it is officially barbecue season, and I've even got the sunburn to prove it. Last weekend was Memorial Day, so of course we did all the usual traditions. We loved just being outside and seeing friends, tracking down those neighbors who were lighting off fireworks, waking up our kids, and of course, barbecue. So this weekend, I got to make pulled pork on a smoker. All right, I was just at my mother-in-law's house and she just gave me that, which is an early Father's Day present, which is a smoker, so I better get that put together. All right, so Robert came, since I use his smoker all the time, now he's gonna help me put this one together. <laughs> Uh, so the power just went out and I'm nowhere near to being done. I doubt you can see anything, but yeah, I got my cell phone light here helping uh, illuminate me. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully the power will come back on and I'll be able to keep working on it, but I doubt it. I don't know, we'll see, but gotta keep it interesting. So luckily the next day I was able to put together the smoker in the morning and then I headed over to the local farmer's market with the fam and we picked up a pork shoulder and some other veggies for meals this week as well. I ended up pickling some of those veggies to go along with the pulled pork sandwiches the next day. The next morning I got up early and started heating up the smoker. For this recipe I kept the temp at around 275 degrees for around 7 hours. For fuel, I was using a combination of charcoal and applewood chunks. Once the smoker was up to temp and holding steady for a while, I applied my favorite rub from the Pit Q Co. cookbook, and you can see how that's made in my ribs video by clicking the link at the top right. Then I added the pork to the smoker and let it cook. I spritzed the meat every 30 minutes or so with my homemade apple cider vinegar to maintain a real nice juicy meat. By about hour four, I had a nice enough bark that I could really wrap up that meat and foil and crank the temp a bit to reduce my cook time. At that point, I decided to head inside to whip up a jicama coleslaw recipe. It's a fairly simple recipe that just involves shredding some jicama and cabbage in a food processor, and then making a cilantro, lime, and sour cream sauce that you toss your shredded ingredients in. And the day before, I had actually made some pickles from the ramps, radishes, and kohlrabi I'd gotten out at the farmer's market. When the pork reached a temp of 190 degrees, I pulled it off the smoker and shredded it right away. What's interesting is you don't have to let this rest because if you toss the shredded meat in the juices, it'll actually reabsorb all of it. Then I tossed all that meat in my barbecue sauce and plated everything up. All right, I gotta do a taste test before I make sandwiches. <laughs> oh my God, that is terrific. The smoke is perfect. Applewood was the right wood. You can really taste the applewood in there. And then that barbecue sauce, I mean, oh my goodness, that's wonderful. Yeah, I need one more taste. Mm. 
Okay, that pork turned out so good. I mean, even my baby ate like a whole handful of it. She just loved it. It was so wonderful. The applewood smoke was nice and mellow and it paired perfectly with the barbecue sauce I had, which that was just lucky happenstance. Oh my gosh, it was so wonderful. After a full eight hours of cooking to have that turn out so wonderful, I was pretty happy. So I'm pretty surprised it turned out so amazing for being my first time using a smoker all by myself, but I'm assuming there's probably a large dose of beginner's luck in there. And I guess I'll find out because I'm definitely gonna be smoking something else soon. It was so awesome and I've gotta try it again. I've caught the bug. If you have an idea about what I should put in a smoker next, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and maybe link me to a recipe or something. I'm definitely open to some new ideas about what's awesome in a smoker. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like or a comment and subscribe. Till next time, cheers. Thank you.